there, and welcome to the All Stars presentation. My name is Dylan, and today, myself and my fellow colleagues will be taking you through our social media strategy for the Australian IT retailer, MSY. The findings of this presentation are, MSY has a strong Facebook community, but lacks other social media channels. The target audience is most active on Facebook, the majority of MSY's weaknesses are due to their poor website and user experience. COVID-19 is the major creator of many threats and opportunities MSY has. MSY's competitors are creating content that resonates with the target audience among many social media channels. And it is recommended that MSY grows increases engagement on four social media channels of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube to grow the business and turn more customers into advocates by adopting our content strategy. By the end of 2020, we will achieve the following four objectives through our social media campaign. Number one, increase engagement by 25% on our Facebook page from the current average of 40 reactions by the end of 2020. The reason for this objective is Facebook is the currently the largest social media channel MSY has and we will need to grow it through a combination of engagement and awareness content to satisfy our main objective of growing the business. The metrics for this objective are likes, comments and mentions. Second, increase traffic from our social media channels by 10% by the end of 2020. This will be done to increase conversions from our content on multiple channels such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. This will help with increasing conversions and possibly feeding our social media channels through content. The metrics for this objective are click-through rates, bounce rates, and conversions. Third, establish an audience of 5,000 followers on Twitter by the end of 2020. As currently the MSY Twitter community is roughly nearly only 2% of MSY social media followers, and it will need to grow and be active to satisfy the main objective of our campaign, which is to grow the business. The metrics for this objective are followers and retweets. And lastly, four, establish a YouTube community of at least 25 subscribers by the end of 2021. This will be done as currently MSY's YouTube channel is dead, as it hasn't created any content since May of this year, and it will need to be recreated to satisfy the main objective of our campaign, which again is to grow the business. The metrics for this objective are subscribers, followers, shares, and comments. Our four social media goals align with three major business objectives in some fashion. They are to grow the brand, turn customers into advocates, and drive leads and sales. But the overarching main objective of our campaign is to first grow the brand through social media by creating content that raises awareness of the brand and increases engagement online. As currently, MSY only has a Facebook channel that uploads content regularly, as MSY's Twitter and YouTube channels have mainly been abandoned, meaning it is of high priority that MSY recreates and grows at least the four social media channels of YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to improve their social media diversity and to increase the chance of exposure of the brand online. There are three buyer personas we are basing our target audience on, low-end, mid-end, and high-end. The one I'll focus on is Brandon. This mid-end buyer persona would have an average paying job, such as a nurse or a teacher, and needs MSY to find the best and newest parts and products in order to build a computer for activities such as gaming and video editing, with a budget of around $2,000 to $3,000. Brandon's pain point or challenge will be to find the best and newest parts in order to build a computer and MSY could solve this by promoting these parts on their preferred social media platforms such as pay Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Brandon has a unique characteristic. He's quiet, caring and works better with others. All of these buyer personas have the same opinion which is the opinion of what computer and IT products or brand they prefer. Our primary competitors, M-Wave, Newegg and PC Case Gear all possess a variety of different networks that are active right now and possess a substantially high following count across a variety of different platforms. 
especially YouTube and Facebook. They have a variety of different strengths which apply to all of these companies across the board. However, M-Wave seems to have a high emphasis on high product variety with themed seasonal specials, whereas Newegg seems to emphasize on the use of events and challenges to involve and connect with the consumer. And PC Case Gear puts a lot of energy into their website, making it a clean, organized, and well-designed website for the best possible user experience. M-Wave's greatest weakness would have to be their little hack of social media content postings in comparison to other companies. Newegg's plain website layout makes for a very boring and negative user experience and the lacking consumer interest on LinkedIn in relation to PC case gear is also a very big, big weakness which also actually acts as a loophole for MSY to step in and really touch on these weaknesses and places that, that these companies haven't touched on. The content that resonates centralizes around trends, events, and different polls, which all involve the consumer in different ways. For example, M-Wave does a great does a great job at promoting their products through promoting gaming conventions and even using game merch, merchandise to promote products by using unboxing videos. Newegg Newegg uses the the idea of promotion by by promoting their products through different events and challenges, such as New Week Frag Fest and Apex Challenge, which is a great way to involve the consumer and connect the consumer to the business. PC Case, Case Gear does an excellent job of doing this as well by actually asking the consumer questions, particularly on their Instagram account, by asking questions on different topics, such as different gaming topics, popular streamers and products, and this all ties heavily into all the different sort of contemporary memes and trends that are going on at this time as well. So now that we've taken a look at the strengths and weaknesses and exactly how our competitors communicate to our audience, it's important to now take a look at their strategy and compare it to our own. So the MSY strategy aims to sell the best quality computer software, provide products with best prices and value, and of course provide knowledge to consumers, which is incredibly important in the MSY strategy, as educating the consumers is definitely the most important objective. The competitive strategy involves offering a wide selection of quality and product services with a friendly atmosphere and shopping experience accompanying this, a highly detailed social media presence and engagement, and appealing to a variety of different target markets such as small to large businesses, PC gamers, and students. Now these these different strategies seem to be similar in one another. However, the differenti the differentiation lies in actual execution of how MSY aims to present these strategies through their social media postings. Political factors, including the start of a trade war between China and Australia, that is affecting the the current supply and future supply of MSY products. Economic factors which include a very high demand for PC components at the moment in a low supply market due to various product launches that is driving up the price, and Australia entering a recession, which is affecting how consumers spend. Social factors that are affecting um, the rise of online influencers and the growth and diversifying of the target subculture of PC builders and gamers, as there is a rise of a female demographic now, and technology factors that are affecting, such as the rise of consumer-created content, thus impacting the sorts of content MSY will create and curate. Strengths of MSY include their current content for their Facebook channel is resonating well with the target audience. They offer a wide product selection of, and a diversity of brands, thus promoting consumer choice. And they have many physical stores in all major Australian cities. Weaknesses include a poor user experience in their website due to design flaws as a result of clutter and poor stability, poor keyword searches compared to the competition, and a poor reputation with consumers as they hold a 2.3 star rating on review sites such as Google Reviews. Opportunities MSY can take advantage of include creating content that resonates with the target audience as the target audience of PC and uh, PC enthusiasts and gamers is becoming less of a niche market and the opportunity to become the major market shareholder of the target audience 
as most competitors for MSY aren't based in New South Wales. And lastly, the threats to MSY are that competitors have a strong IMC strategy compared to them, and they have strong social media integration across all their channels. And lastly, COVID-19 is affecting delivery times, which is impacting MSY's first impressions and their customer reputation. What's working for MSY is Facebook posts that are made regularly, advertising cheap prices compared to their competitors, 99.82% of traffic is from organic keyword searches, live stream countdowns on Facebook for when MSY go live, and giveaways to increase traffic and engagement. What's not working is the bad reviews that, that are discrediting the reputation of MSY with the average rating of overall products 2.3. The website is not regularly updated, nor is there engagement on Facebook, alongside no response to messages or comments on social media. People who are engaging with MSY are generally males 18 to 55 years, not married, no children, working in IT and a possible gamer. MSY's target audience is most active on Facebook at 45.13%, then YouTube at 28.49%, Twitter 1.43%, and Dubin at 1.24%. Globally, in the last six months, MSY has had 392.86k visits on the website, with an increase of 3.12% from the last six months. Content strategy. Content strategy is the ongoing process of transforming business objectives and goals into a plan that uses content as a primary means of achieving those goals. The content mix. For MSY, we will be using the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds tells you exactly what to share and how often. It takes the guesswork out of posting and engages your audience. It's a guideline, not a mathematical formula. The point is to balance your social posts so they aren't all about you. Posts fall into three categories. The first third should promote your business, drive sales, and create profit. The second third should include content creation, which means sharing ideas, case studies, and best practice of other leaders and businesses that will benefit your audience. The last third should engage your followers, build your personal brand, and humanize your business. The three main points for content strategy are promote your business. Most marketers are great at this. After all, you're in a business to drive sales and make money. Promotion may include sharing a new blog post you wrote, advertising an upcoming sale, or inviting people to a webinar you're hosting. It comes naturally to most people. The problem is that your audience gets bored and annoyed if you do it too much. Switching these things up will keep them engaged and happy. The second is content creation. Lots of people avoid this for some reason. Sharing valuable information from others in your field will validate your confidence and prove to your audience that you're engaged and involved in your industry. Sharing may include providing links to blog posts written by others, showcasing an insightful quote from an influencer, or sharing tips that don't drive sales. For example, in MSY, you could make a tutorial that includes the tips and hints of how to install a product into a computer. It's not complicated. As long as it doesn't promote your business and isn't personal, it belongs in this category. Sharing content that shows you understand your business is one part of a whole not only impresses your audience, it also builds goodwill. If you share content from others in your field, they're likely to reciprocate by sharing your content with the audience. And engagement. This category is where you build a sense of community. It's based on personal interactions and humanizes your business. Engagement includes liking your followers' posts, answering their questions, and responding to their comments. It doesn't have to include sharing your personal stories, but, if, but it can if they fit within the context of your account and you're comfortable doing so. The following table is a social media strategy. These are the main steps that MSY will take to create and make sure they involve the most important parts of their business objective. For MSY to grow the brand and to turn customers to advocates and drive leads and sales and improve customer retention are their main goals. And that through this, we'll be using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. 
In the following slide, we will be going through the main sources of content that we'll be using in using MSY. The main sources would be Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Facebook being the main platform, Twitter being the secondary platform, YouTube and Instagram being platforms to use to educate customers and stay relevant in the customer's eyes. The original content we'll be using will be YouTube tutorial videos, creating brand awareness posts within Facebook and Instagram, and community-based content to drive consumers to engage on a social media platform. So example, polls, links to videos, and click on ads. The types of related content we will share is product information on particular items, reshares of community-based content from consumers using our products, and DIY videos of how to use products in relation to specific items. We will post the following, we will post the following channels frequently. Facebook will be used as our main platform and it will be used for content information and community and will be used daily. Twitter will be used three to four times a week and that will include our content information and insight into products that we sell. YouTube will be used one to two times a week on product information and tutorials, videos for DIY specific customers. And Instagram will be used two to three times a week on product information, community, culture, and staying relevant in our consumer's mind. The following slide shows our social media calendar and platform on how we will be posting our relevant information for MSY. Our goal is to increase sales and create leads, convert customers into advocates and grow the brand and convert customers into loyal consumers. We believe with the following social media platform and content creation, MSY will increase engagement and traffic across all platforms and increase their follower base and ensure that they become a leading brand in the tech industry. Our main earned media strategy will be to gain publicity through our educational content on YouTube through good reviews or recommendations by opinion leaders or popular blogs that our target audience follow. While for paid media, we will use influencers and opinion leaders to attract the target audience to our social media channels. And then lastly, shared media, we will allow our target audience to create contests or community highlights that generate WOM for our social media channels. For Facebook, we'll be creating content that resonates with our target audience, such as memes and info slash discussion about future products to drive engagement on the channel, as well share content from other channels such as our educational videos on YouTube to feed and raise awareness of other MSY social media channels. While for Instagram, we will be posting community created content such as PC builds and highlights, while also doing contests or challenges to increase engagement and to grow the channel. For Twitter, we will be creating content that is mainly about alerting the target audience such as raising awareness about products, sales promotions, and events through short and simple to consume tweets. While for YouTube, we will be creating content that have an educational focus, such as do-it-yourself PC builds, unboxing videos of the latest high-tech, e.g. the new VR headset such as the Quest 2 by Oculus, and recommendations from MSY influencers on the latest PC components from companies such as Nvidia, Gigabyte, and AMD. Thank you for watching our social media strategy presentation on MSY.